Oh my god. Okay. You guys have been requesting a franchise mode. And this team is ruining my fucking life. So I told you guys, as soon as the roster update would come out, I would start a brand new Edmonton Oilers GM mode. And here we are, bitches and gentlemen. It's showtime. It is your boy, G20 King Sarcasm. Y'all already know what it is, man. Okay, we're starting a brand new series. And uh, it's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough out here. Now, first things first. I just want to let you guys know that something... Yeah, we're going to turn the assistant coach off because injuries are also off because it's going to make it easier for me to manage the lines and it's going to be less micromanagement. So injuries have been turned off. Fog of War has been turned off because that's just dumb. I don't like it at all. But uh, yeah, okay, so that's pretty much the only things. Uh, Pooley RV is definitely not going to be on the NHL roster, but that's that's a thing. Right now, I just want you guys to... I want to show you guys something. I edited Connor McDavid down to a 93 overall because I'm just... No, he wins like selkie trophies and shit and that's just not Connor mcdavid's game so uh, we're gonna make sure that he don't win no selkie trophies i uh i dragged his um his defensive stats down a little bit but in exchange for that okay i will give you that Connor mcdavid is not winning any selkie trophies but you will give me this in return miko koskinen i have edited to an 83 overall okay He's not going to steal the show. He's not going to be, you know, out here starting 75 games. That's not going to happen. But an 80 overall was a little bit low for how Miko Koskinen has been playing. Just give me that. Just give me that. Okay, a little bit of a trade-off. I took away McDavid's ridiculously overrated off uh, defensive game in this game. And I added a little bit to uh, Miko Koskinen. Other than that, I have not touched the rosters whatsoever on any other team. None of the rookies, nothing have been has been changed except Koskinen and McDavid. Now, man, we got some work to do. Holy smokes! Uh, this team is absolute garbage. Yeah, let's just go down to the let's just go down the roster here. Man, uh, I don't know what to do with this team. I actually I don't even know if I have a plan. Like, I, okay, Nuge, McDavid. And Milan Lucic, well, that's part of the plan. Milan Lucic is, no, mm -mm, not going to be here for $6 million. Yes, he pulled the RV. He's not going to make the team, so ignore him. Uh, Dreisaitl is going to be, oh my god, Tyratty. Look at, we have no wingers. We have no wingers. Ryan Spooner, I mean, Zach Cassian. Fuck my life, man. Brodziak, Brodziak ain't even a winger. Yeah, that's right, he's a center. Jujar Kara, I mean, fucking hell, man. Fucking hell, Alex Shison. All right, well, I, I mean, Shison can score, I guess. Our scratches are going to be Caleb Jones, okay. Kyler Yamamoto, definitely not. We're definitely sending him to the AHL. And Kevin Gravel, all right, fair enough. Fair enough. So that is going to be, oh, you guys would probably like to see our defenseman, who we are dealing with here. We have Oscar Clefbaum, who, oh, they gave him elite potential? I thought he had top four. I thought he had top four potential, but yo, if that's an edit, oh, that that's not gonna matter. He's 25. He ain't gonna develop to an elite. Fuck me. And Adam Goddamn Larson, fuck you. Uh, Andre Sekera, who's got some skating on him, but uh, that's a big that's a big fat contract. Um, Darnell, I like me some Darnell. He's probably gonna be around here for a a while still. Matt, Be mm, all right, Pe Petrovic and uh, Benning is gonna be the uh, the last pair. All right, so. Okay, here's my plan. Here's my plan. We're gonna offload Milan Lucic for whatever the fuck we can. At this point, we just need the salary cap. My dog is going in right now in the background. I apologize. So yeah, we're gonna offload Milan Lucic and uh, we're gonna send Yamamoto and uh, Pugliarvi down to the AHL squad for them to get better. And, uh, I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty much what we can do. That's going to clear up some cap space and give us some shit back. All right, so let's go. Let's do this shit. We're probably going to offload Chris Russell as well. He's in the minors on this roster update, which is great. This is great news, but uh, all right, let's go. Let's start. Let's begin the rebuild of the rebuild of the rebuild of the rebuild of the Edmonton Oilers. All right, let's go. First off... 
We are sending down some players. Pugliarvi, no, you are going to go down to the AHL. We're going to develop you. We're actually going to develop our prospects, unlike the Edmonton Oilers. There you go. You two guys can uh, whoop down there. That's good, good, good. Good, good, good. I might have to put Nuge at center and run one, two, three, the big three at center. Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I need wingers. Okay, now. All right, since we need wingers, I feel the first thing that we should do is trade Chris Russell. Okay, let's go to defenseman. I feel like that's a good start. I feel like that is a good start. And look at look at this. We have too many fucking... Oh my God, Shirelli, you fucked me, man. You fucked me. Chris Russell. Oh, man, we're not sending you to Anaheim or Winnipeg. You, the Caps want Chris Russell? Bet, 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 bet. Uh, right wingers. I mean, fuck, man. Do you want to give up any of your right wingers? You do not. All right, we're gonna try and make this trade a little bit easier. Here, the Leafs want Chris. Ru Lol, that's hilarious. That is actually hilarious. They don't want to give up any of their right wingers, though. So, Tampa. Why do all these? Hold on. Hold 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 on now. Hold on. Say, hmm, hmm. Do I want Redditch? That's a lot to give up. That is a lot to give up, and I don't know. You know what? This team should not be in a rebuilding state at all, and he's 20 years old, too. All right, so we're just not going to take Redditch. Uh, I mean, you're in our division. You're in our division, so that's a big no. I want right-wingers, if possible, at all. Uh, oh, my God, they don't want to give up anybody. No one wants to give me a fucking right winger. The Sens, you guys do some stupid shit. No? All right, cool, cool, cool. That's that's nice. Uh, the Preds, at this point, I don't even care about the conference. All right, bet. That's good. That's good. Minnesota, hey, you want an old guy. You want an old overpaid guy. That's what you do, Minnesota. No? All right, cool. <laughs> oh, man. Los Angeles, do I have any right wingers? Oh... Ooh, we might have somebody here. We might have Matt Loof. Is it Loof? Is it pronounced Loof? I believe it might be pronounced Loof. So we're going to boom, do this. And uh, Los Angeles would be over the salary cap. Of course you would be. Of course you would be. So how about you give me another forward? Because uh, we just have too many of them shits right now. Let's see. Let's see. This might be a little bit of a trade right here. We might have a, a good start here to a trade. Both of these guys are unsigned. I would like players that I could have on my roster, please. Kyle Clifford? All right, I'll take me some Kyle Clifford. Yeah, let's go. Uh, you're still over the fucking uh, 45 skaters. Oh, man. All right, so what if, what if we might have to do this here for a second? We might have to retain on Chris Russell. All right, so we're going to retain on Chris Russell, but in exchange for your my retention of Chris Russell's salary, um, are you guys dumb enough to give me a third? Are you guys retarded? You guys are not retarded. Congratulations. Um, shit, no, I want Loof. I want Loof. Thank you. I just, we need bodies. We need bodies on the wings. How about a fourth? Are you guys retarded? Are you guys going to give me a fourth? Trade rejected. Mmm. -hmm salary they don't want well that's why i'm giving you salary my guy i'm that's why i'm retaining salary i know you guys are cap strapped just as me okay now fifth if fifth is pretty much the lat rejecting all right cool 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 we're just gonna retain some more we're gonna retain we're gonna have to do this guys to offload the big contracts we're gonna have to do this that's just it's just fact of life gonna take half of russell's contract Trade accepted. Thank you! Now, I know that with the retention, we don't actually, you know, get that much. Oh, the, <laughs> the Ducks. The Ducks would want Milan Lucic. They would want him. Um, man, okay. So, yeah, I know that with the retention, we don't clear up that much cap space, but I feel like it had to be done. Also, um, yeah, I mean, that's just that's just what it is. Milan Lucic, can I send you guys? Can I send you to back to Boston? That'd be hilarious. That'd be hilarious. Milan Lucic for a third. Do it. Do it. Do 45 skaters. You're going to have to give me a skater back. Fuck. I hate that. I hate that. Okay. Who's the lowest, um, lowest fucking guy you can give me that you want to give me? 
You don't want to give me any of these guys. Arizona, you guys have some... Hold on. Who You guys... Uh, you don't want to get rid of these picks. You do want to get rid of this pick. So how about a third from Milan Lucic, right? Right? 45 skaters again. This this whole skater shit is getting on my fucking nerves right now. It's all good, though. It's all good. Let's go. Mm, I'm gonna go down, 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 down. You want to give this guy up? Sure, I'll take him. I don't even know who he is. I just need a warm body. Boom. Third pick. Uh, okay. Value is too far off. Okay, how about we go ahead and give you, give you, from that year, a fifth. Is that good? Is that good? That's pretty much what I'm looking for here. Just move up in the draft a little bit. It isn't sufficient at all. Okay, so they really don't want to do that. All right, what about a fourth? Are you guys willing to do a fourth this year? Minnesota's fourth, lol. Boom. That's not even your pick, bro. That's not even your pick. You don't want it. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not retaining on Lucic, bro. That's too much. That's too much retention. I can't do that. Okay. Um, we might have to actually give them shit for them to take Lucic off my hands. We might actually have to do that. What about a fifth, bro? What about a fifth? Oh, my God. Lucic. Okay. What about a sixth? Oh, that's already a sixth. Great. What about a seventh, bro? What about a seventh round pick? Please, please, man. Please, you're Arizona. It's not like you're a cap team. Oh my God, all right. How about we trade seventh round picks? I just want to go, uh, uh. We're actually gonna have to give them more than what we get back. Oh man, this hurts, this hurts, but we have to do it. I need this fucking cap space, my guy. I'm sorry, I do. I do. The King's fifth. Let's go. Do it. Do it. Oh my fucking god. They just don't want it. They just don't want it. A fourth is as high a pick as I'm willing to give up to. A fourth. Oh my god. They just don't want... They don't want that at all. What about a fourth and a fifth? We're gonna have to actually give them more. We, got, we have to give him stuff. In order for them to take Milan Lucic off my hands, this is, this is, mm, this is pissing me off. This is actually pissing me off. Okay, at this point, we're giving up too much. Um, see, the thing is, if I don't trade Milan right now, it's only going to get more difficult to trade him. That's the thing with, uh, with this whole, with, with this whole deal. Fuck. Now, I don't know what to do, so we're just going to go ahead right now, and, I mean, we're going to go with this. We're going to go with this. We're going to go to the end of the preseason, and we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll do the lines at the preseason. Yep, yep. All right. This is this is hell right now. $79 million of cap. Uh, is the cap, rather. Milan Lucic was a lot easier to trade in previous uh, roster updates, man. They made him very tough to trade this in this update, and I'm pissed. I'm actually pissed about it. Salary cap compliance. Shut up about the cap. <laughs> Thing is killing us right now. Okay. And of the... That's fine. Two and four. We might not even make the goddamn playoffs this year, bro. We might not even make the play... Look at this, man. Look at this, man. Nine fucking points in seven games. As, uh... Yeah, Pooley RV down there, definitely. McFarlane is down there also. Yamamoto, oh, shit. Shit, I would like both of these guys to get first line time. Yeah, you're gonna get first line time. I don't care. I legitimately don't care. Don't care if you, um, Brandon Manning, he's in the AHL. All right, let's go. That's what you get. Who do we have scratched out here? Who do, oh, that's not good. That's, uh, Benson's definitely not gonna need some playing time, guys. Um, do it, get Benson. Now that's gonna hurt our AHL team, but I need Benson to get some playing time. So there you go. He's gonna be there because he is a top six forward and uh, we need those. We, uh, we need those. So, especially wingers, especially wingers, you know, and Evan Bouchard is down there in the CHL getting better as we wait. Basically, we just wait. So, let's see what we can do, man. That's going to be pretty much the uh the preseason. That's going to be the Lions, man, I'm afraid. I'm afraid the Lions are going to have to be like that. I tried to offload Lucic, man, but the game's going to make me give up so much. 
to get rid of his contract that it's not even worth it. It's it's not even worth I'm not going to give up a fuck ton of draft picks to get rid of Lucic's contract. We're going to have to stick it out. I got Russell out, which is great. You know, that's great news. It's just we have to, um, you know, we got to... Okay, big dubs. Big dubs opening the season. 3 nothing against the, uh, the, the... Not the Detroit. What am I talking about? The New Jersey Devils. I saw some red, and I went Detroit Red Wings. Oh, let's go. Oh, my goodness. 7-1 against the Winnipeg Jets. What is happening? What the fuck is happening? All right, let's go. We're going to simulate um, a little bit into the season. And then I'm going to end off the video so you guys can maybe give me, I don't know, give me some suggestions on what you would like to see in this series. Maybe some suggestions on how the hell we're going to get rid of Milan Lucic. Hey, you know what, though? You know what, though? Look, looks like we might be all right. We might be okay with Lucic on the roster right now because, I mean, look at our record. Our record is 8-4. and four. That's, I think, I believe that is better than how the actual Edmonton Oilers started. So that's good, man. That is good. I'm happy we got rid of Mr. Oh, look at that. 13 points for Leon? What? He's the leading scorer out here. One month in, Leon Dreisaitl is the leading scorer. Nuge is probably out here. Uh, hey, 11 points for Nuge. That is, that is fine. Why does Connor score so many fucking goals in this game? Why does he, why does he do that? I don't, I don't understand why that happens. I, I just, I don't get it. Okay, four goals for Tobias Reader. We might have to put Nuge. Uh, yeah, no, we're not going to put Nuge on the second line. I'm out. I'm out of my mind. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to do some shit. You know, you know what? The team is going well right now. I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it at all. Even though Connor is not my leading scorer, it's fine. Throughout the entire season, that might, uh, you know, that might go back to normal. We're going to simulate right up to the next month and then we're gonna see man i think we're gonna end off the video right there unless i get some crazy ideas big dubs against the detroit red wings of sadness and uh, we'll see here you know what for i all right you know what i'm liking this i'm liking this i don't know why my team's doing so well i wasn't expecting them to do that well but um you know maybe uh, my maybe my acquisition of mr loof has really been uh really been um good for us or maybe maybe just maybe miko koskinen is actually playing well we'll see man we'll see what happens after two months in the semi that's why does it take so long go go motherfucker go bitch it's a game against the ducks that should not oh philadelphia flyers a second round and raffle for manning a fourth and a third Ooh. Ooh. That's a defenseman. We have plenty of those. That's, uh, I mean, whatever. That's $100,000. And we move up in the draft. I might, hold on. What if I'm going to go ahead and edit this trade? I would be much more comfortable if you made that fourth round pick a fifth round pick. If we could do that, if we, if, if, if you guys are chill with that, I'm, I'm going to be, trade has been rejected. Okay. Philadelphia Bang. With a little fine tuning. With a little fine tuning, you say. Um, so they don't want to do it. It's a second rounder, so all right. Fair enough. Fair enough. No, that's not fair enough. But we're going to have two second round pit. How about this? If you really want a fourth, I'll give you next year's fourth. How about that? Trade accepted. Good. Okay. There you go. Good shit. Good shit. Nice. Uh, we're going to go with the uh, best roster. And uh, hopefully that doesn't put Pooley RV or anyone up on the main team. We're going to have to go and uh, check that out after the month is finished. And after two months of National Hockey League level hockey, we are out here. Still, look at that. 15, 8, and 2. All right. I ain't even mad at it. I ain't even mad at it. That's a good start for the Edmonton Oilers. We are second in the Pacific. Leon Dreisaitl is the leading scorer. Except Con that means Connor's not even close to a point per game, which is a little bit concerning. It's a little bit concerning. Our best player. 
Our best player should not be like that, but at the same time, man, our team is doing well. Mm. Our team is doing well, that's the thing. Nuge is getting mod assist out here, holy shit. So is Leon, good lord. Two goals, how is Leon getting this many assists and nobody on his line is scoring? That's probably the power play time, man. Our power play is probably lit. What's our power play? Oh, that's how. <laughs> that's stupid. Oh my god, I love it. I love that. That's how Connor's getting a lot of goals, too. This power play? How many of his goals have been on the power play? That's that's awesome. Hold on. Connor's a minus one. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Uh, power play points. He has nine power play points. Let's go. Eight power play goals. Our power plays lit, but that makes me feel like our 5-on-5 five five is garbage, which is not ideal. It is not ideal. Tobias Reader is down there. Brodziak is down there. Shiasong has four fucking goals. And six... Ooh, ooh, he has ten points, bro. He does not... Okay, we're gonna put Shiasong up... Out here, hold on, hold on. I'm doing some shit. Tyratty's not gonna be on the third line. Milan might be on the third line. Okay, with uh, Ratty. Ratty has four goals, nine assists. Shisson has four goals, six assists. So we're gonna put Shisson with with Leon and Raffle. I mean, I mean, you know what? Tobias Reader, eight goals, eight assists. Hold on. And Raffle, all right, yeah, nope. That's gonna, we're gonna do this. And we're going to see here, Milan, Lucic, still, I don't know how you scored 12 points, but all right, that's fine with me. Spooner is still, we're a high scoring team, bro. There's a lot of guys out here that score a lot of goals or have a lot of points. Nuge is a great passer right now. I don't know what to do with this whole situation. I would like Leon to remain a center, and I, th I, I think that's just what we're going to do here. Yeah, Leon, Reader, and Shison is going to be on the 5-on-5. Five five, and hopefully that uh, that improves our little bit of our 5-on-5 five five play here. We're going to simulate one more month before I call it a day here on this first episode of fixing the goddamn Edmonton Oilers. And then we'll see where we go from there. All right, we did some lineup changes, so it, it might not go too, too well, but it might also turn our shit around. You know, you gotta be, uh, you gotta be proactive in these things. Like, even though we're playing well, I feel like we could be playing better. Because, like I, like you saw, a lot of their points are being scored on that ridiculously loaded power play unit. So, uh, the Rangers, you want what now? A third for a third and Montoya? Uh, what the fuck do I look like? I, okay, no, that's, that's gonna be a hard no for me, son. Um, that's fine. I mean, what the fuck? What are you on, bruh? What are you on? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that at all. But look at this. Look at this. We're still competitive a little bit. We're still a little bit competitive. We have been getting a few more losses, but we're still out here 20 and 14, so that's good. That's very good. I think I'm okay with how we're playing. We are, like I said, getting a few more losses than I would like to. Oh, goodness gracious. Hold the fucking phone. Al Montoya, a second and a third for a first and a fifth. But that's Tampa Bay's first, so that's ass. Um, Yeah, no, I'm not going to do that either. I'm just not going to do it. Al Montoya can be down there in the minors and uh, helping the Bakersfield Condors out there. Uh, they're already not doing great, the Condors are, and I would like Pooley RV and friends to... Uh, to do well, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Let's go. They have, yeah, see, 37 points in 39 games. They're getting a little bit closer to a point per game. So our offense picked up a little bit. Now, we are no longer second in the Pacific, but I didn't anticipate that lasting anyway. So two months into the season, look at Ryan Nugent Hopkins. This man is out here, man. He, holy shit. All right, he's getting a lot of them points. Connor McDavid, already a 20-goal score two months into the season. That's hilarious. Um, all right, Ty Ratty with seven goals. We got we got a few a few, uh, a few good scores out here. Leon is tearing it up, though. Leon is absolutely tearing it up. I'm thinking maybe we should go one, two, three with the center. So, what? Look at Lucic. 
Look at Lucic! Nine goals, ten assists? Where? Where does that happen, EA? I'm <laughs> I'm chilling, though. I'm chilling. If you guys are going to make it perform like that, shit. I might have to trade him. It might be easier to trade him now with a little bit of performance. We slipped out of the playoffs, but I wasn't expecting that... Uh, that second in the Pacific pace to last, especially because most of our points were coming on the power play. So, that's going to be the end of this video, man. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Let me know in the comment section any suggestions out here. We're pretty much fucked, man. We don't really have a lot of wiggle room because our untouchables are the only players with value, basically. Our, my untouchables, you know, in my mind are McDavid, obviously, Nugent Hopkins, um... And Clef Bomb. That those are like the three untouchables. And uh, yes, I excluded Leon Dreisaitl. We might, we might make a Leon Dreisaitl trade, man. As much as he's leading the team in scoring right now, he's getting paid a little bit of money, man. And we might, we might wanna, we might wanna not do that. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Leon Dreisaitl might be on the way out eventually because we need defense and we have a second line center. So. You guys let me know how you enjoy this series, as, of course, is tradition. If you want to see some more of it, then show me some motherfucking support by punching the like button in the face. Spend the hell out of it. Comment and subscribe. I'm Z20, man. As always, I love you guys, and I'm out this bitch. Peace.